Welcome everyone to your Lionsgate reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button. And if you know someone who would like this, go ahead and share this video. Okay, my friends, let's see what's going on. Talking about this Lionsgate. Very auspicious time of the year. 8-8. Eight, eight. Remember that this started somewhere between, well, some people are saying the 26th. I'm hearing the 28th. So somewhere, <laughs> somewhere between the 26th and the 28th but it won't close until the 12th of August. Um, we do know that the most important piece of this whole puzzle is August 8th, right? When that portal is officially opened. Um, so want to get in there, want to get those intentions going, um, cleansing, healing, spiritual growth, manifesting, whichever it is, all of the above. However, um, we do have, this is the time when the sun is serious, um, and the Orion constellation and Earth are completely aligned, right? As Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky, it's going to become like the night sky sun. It's going to be that bright, right? <clears throat> Especially if you're in Egypt. <laughs> um, okay, this is an auspicious time of healing, manifesting goals, doing things that bring you joy, health, abundance. Okay, you can consider this as a huge marker of your New Year's resolution or your goals and aspirations. Okay, and to the ancient Egyptians, this was the New Year. This was the marker of the New Year um, since their gods also came from Sirius. So they believe that their gods were also watching down on them, right? As you have that Isis um, always connecting to them for their New Year. Okay, guys, so... That was the background history there. Um, but let's get into this portal. Let's get into this reading. We have the, I am using the white light oracle cards. Okay. We do have the Ishtar's Lion Gate 888, which is crazy because I want to tell you another crazy auspicious thing is that it is 2024, which we have 88, August 8th. And now the two plus the two plus the four equals eight. So it literally is eight, eight, eight. So, and then of course we have the year of the wood dragon bringing also goals, good luck, auspicious moments within our lives. They're going to entangle into each other and actually make everything go. Phew. It's going to almost feel like it's thousand times, 10,000 times stronger than normal because you have that dragon coming in with that lion wow okay so i mean they're just boom there you go guys so very very big year right here um going on um it's you know that's what it is we also have the sun coming out and we know that the sun is very important at this time because it's sun sirius the constellation of orion with the earth with the lion's gate right which makes the lion's gate that being aligned with the sun sirius in Orion's constellation and the earth it makes the lion's gate open. So that's very important, right? It's like, how does it open? That's how. Um, we do have some new cards here. For those of you who've been a while, we're still using the uh, regular gate, uh, gateway light activation cards. And then I've got this new cards. Gotta love the new cards. These are called Ancient Stone Oracle. They're also talking about portals and great things like that. So let's get in here and dive deep. So we've got the Ishtar's Lion Gate going this way, as I always do. I like going backwards when my arms are not in the way. Um, Ishtar's Lion Gate is your heart has heightened connection with the higher realms of conscious and light. A blessing, empowerment, and positive omen shall enter your world. Doors will open for you. Abundance and prosperity are headed your way. Take care of your heart chakra and your heart itself. Ask for spiritual guidance and assistance and it shall be granted. Anything negative going on, let's transform that into something very positive at this time. And guys, if you need help with any kind of guided meditations to open these things up and get in there, second channel down in the description area under this video, every video. Okay, I will be doing the Lion's Gate uh, guided meditation. It will be up. It is not up just yet, but it will be up real quick. Okay, so let's get in here. 
I'm um, actually, you know what? I think we're going to use the portal cards first. And see what's going on here. This message is coming out. For this portal. Heart of Source. All encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, and serenity. That's a great portal right there. And it's already talked about that. The Lions already talked about that. Love, keeping that heart healthy, active, activating that heart. Okay, so keeping that open. The heart source over here is talking about the source of the universe is a gigantic heart. Its beats are angels and beings of light. It is what many call God, universe. Right. Source. It's love that is beyond dogma. It's infinite experiencing infinity. It's all that was and ever will be. Okay, so it says the gateway takes us not upward but inward. It's the gateway that reminds us that through the stargate of our heart, we are connected to the heart of creation. Okay? So your message directly is, make sure that your heart is open and that it's overflowing and ready to receive, allowing no blockages, using only acceptance and appreciation that allows you to feel that you deserve what it is that you are looking for. You are being encouraged to view yourself in a loving way and give yourself permission to be loved at this time. If you have been holding back for a while but are now ready to share the love you have within, this card allows you to know it is safe to do so. You are love, loving, and lovable. So step forward and claim all of your worth. Especially during this time, this auspicious time, we really want to get in there. It's a part of that beautiful healing. Right? The next card coming out. Ooh, there it is. Serious star blessings. Yes, proceed to be seen. Push through everything. Push through everything that you need to know. And know that you are being guided. You are being guided through all of this. As the star of uh, as this blessing is coming through to you. Wow, guys. So that's that's crazy. Okay, so this is the big yes card. Yes, follow through. Take those steps. Go in there. Make your intentions. Script them. Make them known. Okay. Better to do so than not, right? I always say better, you never know, right? You never know what's coming through. Okay, getting on to the next cards. Next cards, please. The Ancient Stones. This message is coming through. They're still a little stiff. I just got them. Pave your own way. Leadership, courage, forge. Don't follow other people. You have your own way to go. You forge through what it is you have with courage. And I just love it because it's underneath this beautiful lion. And we all know that Leo the lion is all about that courage and that self-empowerment and that self-will. Courageous. Never gives up. Keeps going strong. Pushes. I really want you guys to see these cards because these are brand new. Right? For me anyways. <laughs> it doesn't mean they're brand new on the market. It means they're brand new to me, right? Somebody to say, oh, I've already seen those. Those are old. Yeah, they're old probably, but they're new to me. <laughs> it's kind of like my used car is my brand new car. Okay, so stepping stones. Take the next step. Simplify and focus on what it is you truly want. Don't go backwards. The only time you want to use your backward stones is when you know that there was like, hmm, you know what? I had a great idea once, but I didn't use that stone. I think I'll go back and get that stone. But otherwise, there's no reason, right? There's no reason. Your stepping stones are to take action to where you need to be. Keep going forward and going strong. Take the next step. These are those baby steps. I love that, though. That's those baby steps that we always use, right? This says the stepping stones reminds us that we don't need to know every single step of the way. It reminds us that no matter how much we try to plan it, 
still there will be something unexpected that occurs. So no matter how much you know something, there's always going to be some kind of obstacle, some kind of challenge, something that's going to stand in the way that we is unforeseen, right? So we don't always know everything. It says if you spend your time trying to avoid, avoid those obstacles or missteps, if you strive for perfection before any motion, you may never leave the comfort of where you already are. So it's definitely saying if you want to get to all this manifestation, you've got to get through all of the things that you're doing. Go ahead and get out of that comfort zone. You don't want to sit over here and say, oh, but if I do this. Now, unless you know it's really super duper hasty, I mean, that'd be different. But this is doing something that, you know, was going to take you out of, oh, I, I can't do that. I'm shy. I, I couldn't talk in public. Talk in public. Right? Talk in public. Okay? Because it's going to allow you to get out of that comfort zone and you just, it'll build and build and you never know what comes out of that. Okay? So next card coming out of that is good luck. So what comes out of that? Good luck. What I just said. Just said it. Auspicious wishes granted, blessings are coming your way. Get out of that comfort zone. Pave your own way. Be your own person. You know who you are. You know what you need to do. Don't be afraid to do it. A lot of times when we forge and we do things that we want to do, sometimes we're a little scared because that's not what the norm is. That's not what everybody else is doing. Like for my own self, I do chakras. I do astrodice. You don't see anybody else really do that. Maybe off and on every now and again, but it's a part of my routine. It's a part of this channel. No, you know, and I do things outside of the box because I want to do things that are different. I don't want you guys to see the same shit all the time. I mean, hey, some people do, but I personally, I like to be different. Maybe that's the Leo in me, right? But you think sometimes when I do these kind of readings and stuff, maybe I'm way outside of the box and I get worried. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I'm like, you know, maybe I'm going too far. Maybe they don't, you know. But then it's like, nope, keep going. You do you. I pave my own way. I'm my own person. Right? So, yeah. And that's it. Because why? Because it says, oh, I love this, you guys. I swear, this, this deck is really kind of a potent, cool deck, right? Because it says it's not forgotten. The messages from spirit, the unbroken connections. Spirit is saying because you're not forgotten. You, if anything, you're paving your way to be seen. This is the time to be seen. Stand in the spotlight. The lion's gate is in the spotlight. Leo is always in the spotlight. So you're going to allow yourself to shine. And as you're doing so and you're doing all these things, you are pushing yourself into the spotlight. You are getting out of that comfort zone so you can be seen, doing things for yourself, being different, being unique, you know, drumming at your own, at your own rhythm. And you are being guided at this time. So Spirit wants you to understand you're not being forgotten. If anything, you're being more seen than you realize. Okay. So this says, what does this one say? It says, if you receive this card, it could be a sign of your bond to a loved one who has also passed. So this card's really cool. It has a lot of different meanings. I was reading the other one before, uh, right? Where we, that's, you know, that's what it was saying. Your connection over time is growing. This is also over here is saying, you have this communication with your loved ones, your higher self, everything. I'm just going to put it out there because that's exactly what it is. You're pushing yourself out there. But your your ancestors, your loved ones, your spirit guides are also pushing towards you, saying, go, go, go. And the more that you're doing, th uh, doing these things, excuse me, you can receive these messages from them. They may be subtle, but stay open to be surprised. You might see that feather falling from nowhere. And be like, how the hell did I get a feather? I don't even see a damn bird. It didn't mean that the, the, the bird didn't drop the feather. It just meant that it dropped the feather for the perfect timing for you to see it. Of course, it didn't just come out of nowhere. It didn't just magically appear. This isn't Harry Potter. But it wasn't meant for you to see the bird. It was meant for you to see the feather as the sign. Okay? The sign of the time. 
So they, you know, they're just letting you know, hey, as you're doing these things and you're getting to where it is you need to be at this time, right now is a very auspicious time and I'm going to send you auspicious signs. And not only that, you have the blue moon that's coming up as well. So it's almost like a pattern of push and push and push. Okay. How beautiful is that? Now we have the sun over here. Now the sun, right, the sun is coming in. And Spirit wants you to understand this sun, okay, says you have what it takes. You are a light bearer. Within you is a healing power and spiritual wisdom you can tap into find your way through the confusion or doubt. Have confidence in yourself and know you are enough. Expect an affirming yes from the universe. Now that's crazy because you got the yes from Sirius. So now you have two yeses, but the sun is always a yes. It's the card of blessings. And so is the Sirius right now because Sirius right now is, be, is so open so big and so bright it's almost like the new sun of the night sky right it's going to be so bright it's going to just overpower everything <laughs> yeah because why it's it's kind of like um it's it's so close right so the frequency of 417 in the hertz is a very important piece to this puzzle this one over here with the 888, everybody knows, right? That's the infinity and infinite possibilities. This one has actually hurts. This one's actually saying is a spiritual truth serum. It undergoes false perceptions and dismantles any circumstances and situations that are not meant for your soul. When a challenging situation is, is helping the soul to grow, this frequency will help you understand how to work through it with a soul-centered way staying connected to the light within. If a situation such as a toxic relationship is creating a barrier between the soul and the light, weakening its ability to evolve and causing it to become stuck in trauma and negative patterns, this frequency will dismantle the negative circumstances. You always have free will, but your capacity to exercise that free will in the self-loving way will become more available to you. It makes me think maybe I should use something like 417, which I've used in my other videos anyways. I've had a few of them at 400. Maybe I should use it for the lion's gate. It's not like I'm going to just find 888, you know. If I do, that'll be amazing. Um, but I can find, you know, if I use that, then maybe that's even better. Maybe I should even try that. I'm always giving myself little ideas over here, people. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, the over creative source. Okay, let's go. I'm always thinking, you know, I'm like, hmm, we use 400. But I've, like I said, I have 400 on a couple of other ones, but they're just music, not the uh, guided meditations. Most of those are between seven, eight, and nine. <clears throat> so interesting. Okay, let's go. Next card's coming out. Show us. Star gathering. Stars aligned, remembering home, soul, family. Ooh. Past life. It's like almost like you, some something's going to catch your attention. You probably have deja vu. I don't know why I want to say that. I want to hear that. Or maybe somebody has already had deja vu. Have you guys been feeling deja vu? I mean, because it's saying the portal, you know. I mean, as the portal's opening, some of you, I feel like you've already just had deja vu. Or you're going to run into someone who you're going to know as a soul family member. A star, that would be a soulmate. Okay. Like, whoa, I've met. Why do I feel connected to you? It's because they're a soulmate. There's somebody you know from the other side. Or you've lived in a past life with. However... That's crazy. Uh, earth star activation. Okay, here comes the earth now. So now we have the Sirius, the sun, and earth coming through. That's actually everything that's aligning together to make the stargate. That's, that's awesome. Thank you, Spirit. That's amazing. So it's saying anchoring, grounding, action, and Isis energy. 
And we had the Isis energy. What did I say earlier? When it goes over that Egypt in the past, you get that Isis coming through, right? Because they believed that this was their, they celebrated this as their new year for Isis, right? For Isis, and they believe their gods came from where, my friends? Serious. Very serious conversation over here. Wow, it's like it's all like coming together. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, that's so cool. So yeah, now you're going to want to ground your energies. Of course you want to ground your energies. Always make sure that you're grounded, especially during any kind of meditations and manifestations. Make sure you're grounding your energy. But that's also going to ground your energy so that you're allowing all of this energy to throw, you know, to 100% flow through you as you're getting your root chakras. You also want to take that and put that through to activate all your, but that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do in that, that guided meditation. We're going to take that energy and we're going to open the chakras and push out all the negative energy and, in, and infuse the light of Sirius into us. Just so you know. Okay, so weather the storms. Let it change you. Embrace the unexpected. Now, I do have to look some of these up, guys. I just got these like two days ago. Okay, so I, I didn't get to get through all of them. Okay, so weather the storm. The stones know that every storm will pass and that the harshest weather shapes who we are over time. Nothing is ever wasted and the greatest challenges end up being the very things that make us not break us. So this is what makes us not break us. Oh, it's okay. okay. So it's the tower card. That makes sense. You know, it's kind of like, well, also kind of like the Ten of Swords as well, only for the fact that the whole idea is whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So it's the same thing. If you weather this storm, then you can learn from it because it didn't kill me. It just made me a stronger person. You know, it's kind of like people, they really want to knock you down. They want to tear you down. They think the more they can tear you down, the more they're going to break you. Right. And you're like, no, because in actuality, you might have broke me for like a second, but in the in the end, you actually made me the, who I am today. So you've actually made me stronger today. Um, and so if you want to come back to me from the past to try your crap again, actually, you're going to find me a very, a much stronger person. <laughs> so you won't be able to do the same crap to me that you did before. You see what I'm saying? Um, it reminds us that through challenges comes growth and through hardship comes resilience. Whatever you're going through, you'll get through with this. However hard things are right now, the weather will improve. No matter how rough the seas and the bitter and how bitter the winds are, soon the sun, oh my God, the sun will appear. <laughs> you're stronger than you will think you are and becoming even more brilliant through the extremes of your life. Out of this, good will come. So have that faith root in. And let the changing seasons craft you into even more of who you truly are. So you're going to let the sun back in. You're going to let your roots dive deep. Oh my gosh. Because you're remembering who you are. Why you're here. And if you, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's kind of like this, like, boom. Don't tell me who I am. I know who I am. Right? But it's not that kind of, that's not that like that kind of energy though. It's a different kind of energy. Because if you think about it, when you say kind of like that, that's kind of just kind of like a, you know, don't, don't tread on me type of situation, right? You don't know who I am. That's kind of a different, that's a, a defensive mode. You're not in a defensive mode. You're in an assurance mode. There's a difference between a defensive mode. The majority of Sorry to say, the majority of people who say that they think they're being more self-assured, but it's actually a defensive mode so that they can keep themselves in kind of like the protection of a bubble. It's a protective mode, right? A defensive protective mode. 
Um, and I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. They do know, you know what I mean? Like you're right. They really don't know who you are, but it's, it's not that this is a more of a 100% assured mode, right? This is like, seriously, because I come from here and I know what my, what I'm here to do. I understand things. So I don't have to be on the defensive. I'm, I'm in the, in the assured, right? It's kind of like that saying, um, what is it? What my husband used to always tell me? I'm not conceited. I'm convinced. There's a difference between being conceited and being convinced <laughs> of what you're doing. My husband used to always tell me before. I used to tell him when he was younger, you're so freaking conceited. And he was like, no, I am convinced. Because he would have that insurity, right? But he was. He was very sure of himself. Um, and that makes a big difference, though, when you're sure of yourself being just in that kind of mode. You see the difference in the modes? The modes are different. So, yeah, it is. And it says this is because you're on the holy mountain. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's right. That's right. You're not on a high horse. You're on the holy mountain. I know because I'm looking down. I can see this stuff. My soul is calling. I'm on the sacred journey. I'm on the pilgrimage of life. I understand. I have the roots with me. I understand my calling. I understand where I'm going. I understand all of this. And the next card to it is your soul agree. There it is. See? What I say, your soul agreement, soul mission, soul plan, life purpose. And if you can't get all of that just by intuitive and your own meditation, right? It's like though you find it through those guided meditations, right? You can go back and find your, your past life, you know, recognitions and all of that stuff. So you're putting up an energy an energy shield of protection and inner strength. What did I just say? It's a different kind of energy shield. It's a different kind of, it's wielding my real shield. Not a defensive one that just makes me feel like, you know, you're attacking me type of scenario because you really don't know. This is like because I have this inner strength and this overall protection and I'm really wielding this shield because I understand I understand what's going on. I understand. And this is what the Lion's Gate is about because that's that healing. That's that soul's mission. That's understanding where I'm going and that purpose and that spiritual growth. So you're doing it from a spiritual growth level. Not just a protection, not just an, oh my gosh, it's like, it's a different kind of protection, right? It's the belonging connection. Thank you. This is like, I know because you're in the 100% knowing. What a beautiful reading. Okay. And I am going to grab a couple of tarot cards. Not many. Because the reading is over. But boy, oh boy, you guys. You. Yeah. You got this. Got the Ten of Cups. And on your way with the Knight of Wands. This is the adventure. You're going to be a little impulsive. I feel that. But you're going to be moving with fearless motion, you know, because you have inspired action and you're feeling that energy of positivity and passion, really moving to your inner happiness over here with that divine love and really feeling that divine love within yourself. Guys, grab it, take it, it's yours. It is the time for you to reap and sow exactly what it is you truly want. There will be some obstacles and any obstacles that you have right now, you can move past those obstacles as the natural leader that you are seeing the bigger picture, right? And really, really reaching out and grabbing your career, you know, your career, anything that you want as you're visioning, as you're visioning, um, envisioning, envisioning what it is you truly want. Okay. Just, you know, just stay away from anything negative Oof. or anybody playing what victim. We don't need anyone right now to be harping on, you know, raining our parade and harping on our energy and, and doing all this stuff. This is not the time. This is a very beautiful moment right now. We want to keep that positive energy going. We want to keep everything aligned as much as possible. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, and that was it. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.